So today guys, I wanted to show you how to get started in Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is you want to open Photoshop. So if you go right here to your start menu and go all apps, you'll see this Adobe Design and Web Premium. You just click here and scroll down so you find Photoshop CS6. Click on that and it'll take a little bit to load as you can see. It's going to come up with this splash screen. Don't click on anything because it's going to come up with this warning about font and you want to be able to click that and if you guys click before that it will that screen will move behind this splash screen it'll be hard to click. Alright so now we're, we're in Photoshop there's a couple different ways to open things in Photoshop. One way your file menu and you you just can click new if you wanted to start a new document you would want to name it something other than untitled preferably what we're working on you would also want to adjust the size I might I'll give you specific sizes for things your resolution is automatically set to 72 and 72 is good for anything that's going to be on just on the screen but if we ever wanted to print something out 72 is not good and we want to change this to 300 and so I'd prefer most of the things in here for your resolution to be at 300. RGB color that stands for anything that's going to be on screen red green blue and then if you are going to print something out it should, should be CMYK and those are your cyan magenta yellow black and so those are the settings you can say okay and you'll see it turns out something like this now if we wanted to go ahead and open an image that we already had the first thing you can say is open and it's going to bring up your pictures folder and you can search in through here find a photo that you want to use I'm going to go back to Chrome over here and here's my picture that I took of the sketchbook I want to go ahead and just download that click on the download it's downloading right here at the bottom of Chrome and then I can go back to Photoshop I can say file open and then I have to change this setting to go to my download as you guys saw in Chrome it was some kind of a really long number of something that I'll never remember um, you can change it to date so that it goes in order of date another easier way is if you go back to Chrome you click right here on the arrow beside your image you say show in folder here it is right here I can right click on it and I can also say open with and then go to Photoshop and here's my image and that is how you open your image and that's going to be your first task is to open the image Now, next what we want to do is I don't want to have this desk I want to crop this out over here is my toolbar and there's a whole bunch of different things over here and so right here this tool is my crop tool I can drag it in from down here I can also drag it from the side over here if I needed to crop something off that I didn't need or didn't want. Now right here you'll notice at the top it says unconstrained and I can also change it like if I wanted to say I just want this an 8x10 because I know I want to print it 8x10 or um, whatever aspect ratio you want. Now I'm going to say unconstrained. I'm going to bring it up a little bit over here. And so notice we didn't take this picture quite straight, so I might have to cut off some of it, but I don't want that desk showing. I can also straighten it right here. I want to click this checkbox right here. And now my image is cropped. Okay, and so as you can see here at the top of Photoshop is different tabs. So if I wanted to go back to my original document that I made, it's right here. If I need to go back to the one I just opened, it would be right here. Now when I go to file and I say save as, it's going to give it the name that I downloaded it as. So I want to change this to my last name, say crop image. Now when it says format, there's going to be a whole bunch of different formats you can save this as. And so we can save it as just a Photoshop file, a regular JPEG file and JPEG is the standard across multiple platforms uh, for you to be able to open the image like if I tried to if I saved it as a Photoshop file and tried to open it back on my phone it won't let me but if I save it as a JPEG and try to open it on my phone it will I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file right now um, because we're going to use this later and use it in Photoshop again and then you want to make sure whenever you save something you make sure you look up here to see where it saves so right now it's going to save in my downloads because that's where I opened it from 
but I don't want to save it in my downloads because I'll never find it again, right? A lot of you guys like to save stuff to your desktop. The only problem with that is once you get cluttered desktop, that's not a good idea either. If I click on library, I'm going to save this in my pictures file. You can create a file over here, maybe title it whatever class you're in, and then I'm just going to say save. All right, thank you guys.